neat service dogs and hearing dogs have a very special way of assisting clients to regain tasks and confidence levels for their daily lives. Hearing dogs are very sound aware. They notice everything that happens in the environment and automatically on their own turn and look to see where the sound is coming from. What the dog is trained to do is when they're walking along, if the keys like drop out of your pocket or they drop out of your hand, the dog will automatically stop and pick them up and bring them over to the client so the client can grab them from their hands because um, they can't hear them drop and so that's what the dog is, is here for. Um, and then on the other side of that with the service dogs, they're just going to ignore that part of it. They're, um, they're going to wait until they're told to pick them up. The job of all of our hearing dogs is to alert their client to sounds going off in the environment and to make sure that they are able to get to the sound. This could be somebody knocking on the door, somebody ringing the doorbell, a timer going off, a smoke detector, um, anything that's important that the client needs to be aware of. When someone knocks on the door, the hearing dog is automatically going to get up, run to the door, go and find wherever their client is, nudge their leg, and run back to the door. Um, and then they'll go, they'll do that pattern until the client gets up and goes to the door and sees who's there. The service dog may notice the sound, but will not respond to the sound as they perform other tasks for their clients. The way the name call works is the clients will generally tell friends and family if they're out and about and they want to get the client's attention that they should repeatedly call their name. The dog is trained to bring them to the person who's calling their name. Jay. Jay. We do see a lot of people's confidence build once they get the dog and they've had them. When we, all the follow-ups and stuff we get back, it's always how much, how much more they can do and how much more freedom they have now that they have the dog with them. When someone can't hear, these dogs become their ears. For the service dogs, they could become their legs, they could become an extra set of hands. Although the commands and training for these two types of dogs differ, they are both invaluable and critical to how needs dogs are matched with their partners.